right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level, yeah. level from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now to get us started, Ladies the veteran voice of the octagon, This Bruce is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Jean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight? Well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Nice punch there by Lee. He's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the pillar. Now connects with a right. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. 
Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Over and over. He's landing big body kicks. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. He landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down. Oh! He's landing some nasty strikes. He's got him hurt here. Big kick. Just over three minutes to go now. The head kick. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Just missed with the left there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. to the body there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Way to hide that leg kick. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ten seconds. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Here's round. Up. High right. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Beautiful kick. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. 
Watch the shot. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, big left. What he needed there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. If he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Got the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Big punch land to the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Not there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. He loaded up on that right hand too. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Lee's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Yeah. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Leg kick checked nicely by Lee. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Lee's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Great punch, landed with so much power. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. He missed with that jab attempt there. Such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Right under the elbow. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So. For him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful body kick. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Shot is blocked. Nice leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. because I have time grabbing kick like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. And he caught the kick. And they separate. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Nice punch lands over the top. <laughs> oh, man. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Knee to the body. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He high, and now he's got him hurt bad. You got to check these low leg kicks. Good punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, well, now you really are starting to see the damage inflicted by the opponent all over that left thigh. Watch the strike. Nice head kick. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Nice kick. Under two minutes now to go. attempt there is blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Big body kick. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Oh, that's a nice strike. Sneaky head kick. Final minute. There's no kill on that leg kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Fight. No, 
Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Stop. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. This is it, last round. Digging kick. Oh, misses with the jab. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, big punch land. Slips that left hand. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Game of inches right Seven. there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, here comes the kick. That one caught. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He got him. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent wow. very bad. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life in the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 56 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and